For many, this is the first weekend of self-isolation, so I've been asking the people of Bristol what they're going to get up to. Much as I love going out and stuff, it's kind of a great opportunity for me just to get a lot of music and mixes done that I normally can't. Uh, I have different places that I like to go uh, in nature or, you know, farm fields, meadows or a little bit of woodland. It's really good for my mental health and I really like those places. So I take my dog for a walk. I am the founder of Dudes and Dogs. Dudes and Dogs is a mental wellbeing charity for men to get together, get them out into the fresh air for a bit of a walk and talk. Unfortunately, with the uh, restrictions, we've had to stop doing the dudes and dogs walks for now, um, which is a real shame. Uh, but we have put lots of other things in place. So this weekend, normally at 10.15 on a Saturday, I'd be off for a dudes and dogs walk. Um, but I'm doing a dudes and dogs support call, which we're doing uh, every single day for the guys in the walkers group, uh, called Dude, How's Your Mood? Which will give them the support and just let them check in. How do you feel as a city we're, we're doing with all of this? I think... I really well comparing to other cities and other countries you know and other continents as well I think what really came up for me that was really positive is the community spirit was the um, kind of people really jumped very quickly to supportive uh, mode you know what can I do for others what, you know um, how can I volunteer for NHS how can I volunteer for my neighbours? I feel this is going to be a really positive thing in the long, once this is all over and we've got out of all this scariness and uncertainty and the horrendousness that is, is you know, the lo loss of life. I do believe we're seeing positives from humankind. I'm kind of banking on positive outcomes from this, personally. We'll see what happens.